hey everybody what's up and welcome back to this video in this video we're going to be doing another entrepreneur reacts video i'm going to be answering some questions from some people on reddit um we got four questions that i'm going to dive into hopefully we can cover some good stuff some good topics and answer these people's questions as well as your questions before we dive into it be sure be sure to check out my other entrepreneur reacts video i'll put it somewhere on the screen or on a tag or something check those out i'll make a playlist for them as well if you like this kind of content where i'm just answering these questions quickly and um rapidly and just giving you meaningful answers to them let me know i'll keep making them or if you want some new content as well something different to change up the pace let me know as well i'm glad to do that i got some ideas on the back burner just the last two months have been very busy um so i haven't really had a ton of time to post on youtube but without further ado let's dive right into it so this first question comes from Wenzel J22, where to start? So he says he's currently in the military and he's realized over the last year that he wants to get into business. He's telling that his contract ends in the military, April, 2022. He's wondering where is a good place to start in education for business? He doesn't like college or classroom type of person. Um, he has all the college he wants to pay, paid for if he needs it. Um, he's been looking into entrepreneurship, but he doesn't know. He wants to get an education that's hands-on and to the point, and he doesn't want to go to a university and take all the college pre prerequisites. Where is a good place to start? Any advice is greatly appreciated. So to answer your question, Wenzel, and anyone else out there, if you want to start a business or you're looking into entrepreneurship or maybe even just some kind of education route, and maybe you don't want to go to college, there's a few different places and things I would recommend for you to do. Um, I do go to college and I have gone to college, but college hasn't been the most successful in exactly teaching me what I know about starting, running, and growing a successful business consistently for the past two years or so. So what I would recommend you to do is, first of all, <clears throat> delve into what you like. Delve into the different things that you love and what you're passionate and interested in. An easy, easy way to do this is just go on your YouTube and Google search history and just see what you're looking up and watching constantly and you'll be able to pick out what you really, really like and what you're passionate in and what intrigues you. From there, you can go a ton of different routes, but in terms of education specifically, to get any kind of education for business in general, because whether you're going into like real estate business or like more traditional business where you're going to like a corporate office or maybe you're doing like you know, you're selling a small software for a small software company, or even if you're starting and growing your own thing, no matter where you kind of go with it, the skills you're gonna learn from what I'm about to tell you and where you can go learn these, they're gonna be valuable and you're gonna be able to use them and apply them to really any business you go to. So first of all is invest in mentors. But before you do that, literally just going on YouTube and the main things you need to learn ideally that'll be applicable to any kind of business setting and any kind of job anywhere honestly is sales and negotiation kind of goes in there but sales is a big one marketing um and the main thing is just how to talk to people and understanding people and how they think and how they work so kind of like some psychology aspect um i'm trying to think if i'm leaving anything else out but sales marketing psychology so just understanding people how they react and then how to deal with conflict is a big one um, as well as your mindset. I'd say those are the five things that I can think of right now off the top of my head. I'm not, I haven't really prepared for this video. I'm just reading the questions and going off what comes off the top of my head, but that's what I would say. Education, the five things you kind of want to look at are sales, marketing, like psychology, understanding uh, people, and now I'm going to miss them because I, com I, I completely forgot. Um, understanding people, how to deal with conflict, and uh, I forget the last one that I said but do those. <laughs> those are the main like points of education you want to focus on. And you're going to get a lot of this. I would really recommend from mentors, different courses. Maybe I've maybe only bought like two courses throughout my whole like business journey. Mentors is a really, really big one. Invest in mentorships. Um, as well as even just like reading books is a pretty big one. But on top of that, you want to make sure you're reading it from the right people. And when you're reading and going through mentors and you're learning online and you're maybe going through a few courses, I really recommend you, you don't just learn it and like soak up the information, actually implement it and put in action. Because if you don't put in the action, it's not gonna work. So that's my answer for that one. 
Um, good place to start, main thing, mentors. Find a mentor, find a course or two that are recommended online. Just general business, sales, marketing, psychology of under, just, just understanding people and your mindset. Those are really big ones that I would really recommend to focus on. Next question. I wanna start my own makeup business from Hedgehog Fantastic. Hi there, I'm about to graduate high school. I've been researching how to start a makeup brand for six months. I have prices down, design, I'll copyright my brand, how to get it off its feet, where do I buy the materials? Also, I plan to make social media and use my friends as models for it to get recognized. If anyone has tips or pointers, I'd love to hear them. So first of all, uh, this applies to the last question too. Research what the people want. Research what the makeup market wants and what the makeup market is interested in. Even if you are in the makeup, you may not 100% know what everyone wants. So I recommend that you go to Facebook groups, Reddit posts, um, different forums, even YouTube videos, and just going through the comments and looking through all the groups and the forums to see really what people are interested in and what people are gravitating to. That's where you should start and make your product. And from there, you can get a few ideas from those forums and groups, but then go out and directly ask people that are very, very into makeup, or even if they're not into makeup, like, you know, go to those two groups and ask them, what are they interested in? What do they gravitate to when they go to a makeup store? And what product do they want that they can't think of right now that's not available elsewhere? That's where you should start. You should start with researching and figuring out where to start and what product to create because with a startup like makeup you're going to need a lot more upfront investment and capital versus like an online business uh, per se and then after that i'd recommend just getting influencers big time influencers to promote your product even if you have to pay them a little bit but what i would recommend doing don't be like some companies that you know make you buy the product first give them the product for free let them genuinely review it and they can keep it and you know that's what i'd recommend you to do um, from there, I would advertise online and just get a ton of sales through an e-commerce store as well. Hope that makes sense. Um, okay, next, second to last one. I want some information and advice about starting a business. Hey everyone, I just designed a good business idea of New Biscuits brand. So just off the bat, this already builds into the last question I was saying. You may think it's a really, really good idea, but ideally you want your product or service to be solving a problem and that's where it lies and lies its major value to people. So if it's solving a problem and giving value to people, that's where you wanna see. So your new biscuits brand may be really great to you, but maybe not to others. So do some research and not just research from like magazines or articles, go and talk to people in, like I said, Facebook groups, um, Instagram pages, YouTube videos, look at the comment section, Reddit posts and different forums online. That's where you wanna get your information and then interview people directly. I'm sure it'll work. The problem is I need money and support and I'm still learning and can't pay for the whole business. I'm still a beginner, but I just found a really great idea. I wanna start it out before first or before anyone. Um, any advice or tips on how to get money from my business? So in this specific case, if your goal, you just need a lot of money to start your business, you're gonna to have to go and talk to an investor and pitch them your idea. Basically just like Shark Tank, if you have a really good idea and you just have no idea what to do, you can go to investors, pitch your idea, show them why it's unique and the value it provides, and they'll probably help you out. But before you do that, do your research, like I said, talk to people in the market in all the different resources that I mentioned, and run it by a few different people before you go to these investors You know, to, to get different viewpoints on it. Because if you're just looking at your own viewpoint, it's not gonna work that well, and it, 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 it may not be as successful as you would hope it would. Next one, selling online, but what? Hi all, I've been wanting to start selling things online, but I'm not sure what. I have over the years looked at uh, looked at those vids of selling on Amazon and they say to look at BSR and so on, but I felt like most of these are reductionists and they're trying to sell something themselves and all pretty much the same. I've collected spreadsheets of products, but these have just been random selections. I have extra income. The problem is I'm not sure what to sell. How does one evaluate what to sell when there's literally millions of people selling online? unless I come up with a new product or retail arbitrage of already branded items, blah, blah, blah. I feel like I would, it would be naive to just browse and pick a random item, especially one that would need to buy a large quantity of. Okay, so this person, uh, KJ1, they're asking in specific to e-commerce, what product should I use? What service should I provide? Uh, sorry, this is more specifically like physical products to sell online. Same kind of thing, go into forums and whatnot, but another thing, especially if you're on Instagram stories, literally just click through freaking stories and you will see products show up. Screenshot those products, then research those products specifically and you can see their trend, 
On top of that, once you do that and you see products showing up, type in those products on the Google Trends. Uh, if you literally just go on Google and type in Google Trends, you can type in whatever you wanna type in and look up a trend for. If it looks like it's going up and the graph looks like it's you know, slowly but surely increasing, that could be a good product. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to test. Another thing to do, especially if you're drop shipping, is go on AliExpress and Oberlo and you can look at the hottest selling products. Um, remember, with e-commerce, you're competing with Amazon in a sense. So I would recommend if you're ever gonna make a product, you can drop ship it from somewhere else in the world, but brand it and brand your page as a very specific and um, just healthy brand, not some random general e-commerce store because you need to have a healthy brand in order to compete with the fast shipping of Amazon and whatnot. And in general, you're gonna have much greater success selling you know, a branded pen versus, or you know, a branded drink versus not a branded drink. So that's what I'd really recommend you to do is do your research on what the people want and be sure to build your store as a strong brand. That's what I'd recommend you to do first. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be really hard to come up with a brand new product, so I wouldn't really recommend doing that unless you have a ton of capital, but that's just gonna be way too much work for no reason. I'd recommend just, you know, researching what people want, research what's selling on AliExpress and Oberlo, even on Amazon, you can see. Um, now, I'm gonna kind of put this question in another perspective. What if you wanted to sell a service or you know, start a business online. Well, it's the same kind of thing. You just wanna find where there's problems that people are having and that's where you can give them more value. That's what you are aiming to do. If you, if you see an issue and you see problems happening and people struggling with certain things, that's where you have an opportunity to give value to people. So with me, for example, when I started my business, it was literally a social media marketing company and everyone and their mother was doing that. And it was it worked out well, but when everyone starts doing it, it becomes a lot harder to sell your services and stand out and be unique. And I want my business, and I wanted my business to be so much more than just a small rinky-dink company. So from there, I started seeing what more people were having issues with. All I, I, I heard from everyone that I talked to and all the business owners that I would talk to, that they're having these three to four same issues over and over and over again, whether it's on marketing, sales, their staff, um, just their general like business systems were completely off the rails. Once I found those problems, I sat down and tried to figure out how in the heck can I solve these problems or how can I at least get a, a system in place that is, has the potential of solving these problems. That's all I did and then I went to business owners, pitched it to them. I was very honest, I built my, I built my business on honesty and every single client that I get is built on honesty because so many people are out there scamming nowadays. So many people out there are offering products and services that don't deliver value and that don't give a true return on investment, but not necessarily cash wise, but you know, to their time that they're spending and, and, and all that good stuff. So you gotta make sure whatever business you're starting, it needs to solve a problem and in turn that will provide value for your customers. On top of that, it needs to be simple. You need to make everything extremely simple and you're gonna need to make sacrifices. If you don't think that you're gonna to have to make sacrifices to grow a business, you're completely wrong because growth will come from that sacrifice and you will start to grow your business more and more the more you sacrifice. Um, sacrifice is, I like to kind of describe it as you're giving up something good today for something amazing tomorrow. So, you know, you may be sacrificing something really, really good and it's still valuable, but you're sacrificing that for something exceptional and extraordinary later down the road. Think long-term with your business is another thing. Think long-term, see what the customers want and make sure you're providing value, so do your research um, and test. At the end of the day, guys, you just gotta test. Sitting here and thinking about it is only gonna get you so far and that's not far enough. You're gonna have to go out there and take action. Um, you'll be rewarded by taking action, not by sitting behind on the sidelines and just observing. You're gonna be rewarded for taking action and for taking risks. So if you understand that there's some risks and that it's not gonna be perfect all the time and that there is a chance of it failing, that's 100% fine. If you understand that, you're gonna be so much farther ahead of other people. So that being said, guys, I hope that me answering these questions helps some people kind of think about how to run a good business and, and if you're interested in that kind of stuff, um, you can definitely do that and it can definitely work for you really well as long as you focus on the things that matter and you don't get distracted by the thousands of different things that people are trying to sell you and coach you on 
focus on one to five, not even, probably like one to three specific things, specific systems, mentors, um, mentorships are really, really important. That's how I got started and I really suggest that's how you guys get started. So if you're interested in anything like that, I don't have a ton of room available for mentorships, but I'm glad to talk to you guys here and there. And I'm glad to talk to you guys through Messenger on Facebook or Instagram, or you can email me or just comment below. I'm glad to answer any questions. At the end of the day though, you gotta be passionate because no one can be passion. You gotta be consistent and you gotta take risks because without risk taking and without assuming that you're gonna fail, and if you're afraid of failure, you're never gonna get anywhere. So that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for the next videos, let me know. Um, check out my social medias in the description and check out the rest of my videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.